Hi everyone, this is again Dr. Muhammad Irfan and today we are going to learn these four things. The first one is how to set working directory. Second, how to open CSV data files. Third, how to calculate mean, median, min, max and standard deviation. And fourth, how to save data in CSV in R and how to reopen these files in R Studio. So without wasting time, let's go to R Studio. So this is my R Studio. This one is um, the first one is script window. The second one is console window. The third I told you about in my last video. This is the environment window where we see actually the data that we have open. And this down there in my right hand corner, my right hand corner here, I can see the files and graphs or whatever I'm producing in, in this window, in, in script window. All right, so this is the script window. Uh, I just opened the script window by clicking over file and then new file and then R script. This will open a new window like here. Okay, I'm just going to delete this one. Please ignore this one. All right, so only focus this one, the first one. All right, so in first one, how to first of all, how to set, set the working directory. So go to the session up there and then go to the set working directory, then choose directory. Alright, so go to the your computer or hard drive. Click the hard drive that you want to try to make a folder actually in D drive or in other than C drives. And that folder should be your working directory. The reason why you select a working directory, whatever you'll be doing, saving the data or um, importing the data or bringing up the data, you will be using actually this folder. All right, so I have set this working directory. So see in the command down there, set wd is actually is a command for setting the working directory. I just copied over there, copy from here and put over here in my script window. Why I did it? Because I want to save it in for my next, um, uh, for my future reference. If I want to reproduce everything, uh, I'll be saving my every command from here. All right, so now how I can open the data. So for opening the data from, read, uh, from CSV, this is the command for opening the data. So you can name the data whatever you want to. So for example, I want I name the data like test data and then this sign, remember this sign is a sign sign and then read.sv is actually the name uh, is the command. All right, so then test data.csv, how I know that this data is available in my working directory, you can see in the fourth window. See, test data.csv is available in my working directory. If you are not sure, if you do, if you want to uh, see the other way around, you can go to your R class folder, so for example, over here, and I go to the R class folder. Here I can see the test data in CSV is over here. Okay. All right. So you can run this command by clicking over here and hitting this run button, All right? Or you can see. See over here, control enter. There is a second option. You can select this one and run control enter. And there we go. In your environment window, you can see the test data, 32 observations are there with five variables. All right, so once you open the data, the first thing you should do is, first of all, you should check the structure of the data. The command is str and then in the bracket, the name of the data set and run or hit control enter. So over here in the console window, you are looking at the data. The first variable is car, it's a factor variable, mpg is my second variable, cyl, fb, and then wt. These are my variables. Dim can give you the number of rows and number of columns over here. All right, dim command, they can give you this one. All right, so now come to the mean, mark, uh, sorry, mean, median, min, 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 and max. Over here, uh, the command is summary, then test data. Then you, if you need, if you put the dollar sign, it means you are calling the variables. So let me see, let, let, let me show you again. So if I'm putting shift four and dollar sign, so it means I'm just putting the dollar signs and I'm calling the variables. So I'm gonna select the columns or variables, which I want to select, for example, over here, MPG, and then hit control enter. Down there, you can see the mean, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and maximum values. All right, you can do it with second variable, you can do it with third variable. All right, and then 
also to check the mean max individually. If you only want to see mean, if you only want to see min, and if you only want to see max, these are the command for this one. You need to select the data and then again, dollar sign, call the variable. So for example, over here, I'm calling, I'm again, again putting the dollar signs and calling other variables. For example, side enter, I'm gonna select this one. All right, the min is four. All right, and what is the maximum cylinder in my data? And then I'm going to select again C by L and it will give me a maximum cylinder, eight. Okay, so it's also to tell you, you cannot check the mean of factor variables. All right, so how to deal with the factor variables? I'm going to tell you in my next videos. All right, and similarly, you can check what is SD, again, the data and call the variable. So for example, here, here we go. The standard deviation is down there. What is the purpose of standard deviation? What is the purpose of mean, median, uh, mean, median, minimum, and maximum? I'm going to tell you in my next videos and uh, when we will be trying the uh, scatter plots and the other histograms, the things like that. Okay, uh, and that's it. Here, we, now we can save our data. To save the data in CSV format, so this is the command write.csv, then in the bracket, name of the data. For example, this is the name of the data you want to save, test data. And over here, you can name the data whatever you want to. Remember to put dot CSV extension over here. So for example, I want to name this data in test rm class dot CSV. All right, so just control enter and the data is saved over there. Similarly, I want to save this data, save in R format or in R extension. So remember to put RDS at the end and then you can name whatever you, you want to name in inverted commas. And this, I hit it again, and this is also saved in my working directory. Remember the folder which I set earlier above there, over here. Okay, how you can reopen this one? So let me remove this one first. So here is the brush you want to remove. If you want to remove everything from this window, you can remove uh, by clicking on this one. It will remove everything. But if you want to remove one by one, so for, say these are four or five things are open in this window and you want to remove only one thing, that then you choose this command, which is rm in the bracket, name of the data, test. So I'm again hitting tab. If I hit tab, it will select automatically, then control enter. See, in the environment window, it's gone. All right, so how I can reopen this one? To reopen this one, I can choose whatever I want to. I, I can choose the name of the data, but whatever I want to. For example, I wanna say test data again, and I wanna see the read.sv. I'm gonna open the CSV file. So I just need to hit Control Enter. It will open over here. And similarly, if you wanna see the other data, test dot data two and then read rds is um, the name of the uh, command and then in the bracket you should name exactly what you have saved above there see i have saved above data in this name and over here now i can open the data in this format all right so test data 2 and then hit control enter see the second data is also open over here. So one has six variables, one has five variables. I don't know why it's six. I will check it again, what I have done something wrong. Anyway, um, this is how you can uh, read the file. You, this is how you can save the file and reopen the file. All right, thank you very much. I hope this is a helpful video for you.